just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne. And Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello everyone. So I'm home from work. Let me set this down and tell you guys a story. So that's a good spot. Okay. So today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday and I had already opened the vlog and I've been vlogging all day. I did super good and I even uploaded two videos to be scheduled and everything right so I'm going through my footage I'm like okay um, I'm a little bit behind but you know I'll still use that footage you guys know how I do so I can catch you guys up on everything we've been doing right so I'm going through everything and I deleted absolutely everything from this morning from today it's like are you kidding me and so it's like I don't even remember what I told you guys so I don't know. I'm just going to go from here. Anyway, so tonight is Bible study. Men's Bible study was supposed to be here tonight, but the pastor called. So he canceled it completely. So um, they didn't come over. I can't even think what I told you guys. Oh my goodness. So this morning, <laughs> I will tell you guys this because this was so weird. So I set the Bible app on my phone to notify me at 6 a.m. I don't know why I don't do it at 6.30 because when I hear it at 6 a.m., I wake up and I'm not up until 6.30. I don't wake up until 6.30, put it that way. So anyway, I set my alarm clock for 6.30. This is what I'm trying to say. I just feel so flustered. I'm just so mad at myself because I deleted all that footage. So I'm just trying to remember what I told you guys this morning. Anyway... <laughs> feel like I'm just rambling on and on. I wake up and I look at my clock and I thought it said six o'clock. And I'm thinking, I didn't hear the Bible app go off. I don't know. I feel wide awake. I'm not tired. I went to bed early last night. Let me just get up and get ready. I'll make my coffee. I'll scroll on social media. I don't know. Straighten up the house. Just do little odds and ends, things that I need to do. There was something on the screen that was bugging me. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, so I'm getting ready. I made my coffee. I sit down. I start vlogging, talking to you guys, whatever. And I'm looking, I'm like, it's really super dark outside. What's going on? So I go turn the front porch light off and the back porch light off. And so when I do it, usually it's light outside. So I'm looking outside. I'm like, it's really super dark. Isn't by now it's light? It's almost seven o'clock. Where is the sun? Why? What's going on? And so then I sat down and I looked at my clock. And at first I thought I was seeing things. Y'all, instead of getting up at 6.30 or what I thought was six o'clock, I got up at five. Yeah, I was up at five in the morning. Totally dressed. I had showered. I had changed. I had my coffee. By 5.45, I was ready and thinking I'm about to leave the house in like 20, maybe 30 minutes. No, I still had over an hour. Yeah, so that and I think I vlogged a little bit at work. I don't even remember what I was going to tell you guys. Anyway, so I'm just going to heat up pizza for dinner tonight and I don't know. I don't want this to be it for today, but y'all, I did so good. I had so much footage for today and then I just lost it. I don't even remember what I was telling you guys. Um, yeah, if I remember, I'll come back. I'm going to do this with one hand. So Winco has these pizzas that you can get that are already pre-made and it's six bucks each. They come in different kinds, of course. And I didn't realize this had pineapples on it. I guess it won't be too bad. So I'm just going to throw this in the oven and this is going to be for dinner tonight. Let's see what Savannah's up to. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Did you want to tell them what happened with Boston and your noodles yesterday? She can tell the story better than I could. 
after making this. After, okay, she's doing her TikTok because you guys know she's TikTok famous. She's like so amazing. She looks so oh, cute right now. Fans, can, like, can I show you? Mm -hmm. That's oh, a funny one. That's no, why I look no, weird. no pictures, no autographs. We'll say hi. She's beautiful, isn't she? Oh my bed, don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let her tell you guys what happened with Boston and her noodles, okay? Yeah. Action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the story. Story? This is the story of noodles. Okay, so I make noodles for myself the way I make them because I make them really good, right? And I get a text to say to get ready because my mom was picking me up. And so I went to go in my room to get ready, and I left my my bowl of noodles on the center thingy. Yeah, you're talking. You, <laughs> I left them on, on the center thing, and I went in my room to get ready, and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh no. Because <laughs> I know you can't trust anything around him, and he was being really quiet, because he usually follows me back here, but he didn't follow me. He was being like extra quiet, and it wouldn't surprise me, so I went in there, and, <laughs> and I see him on the couch. <laughs> I saw him. He looked at me. <laughs> he ran so fast. I was like, "What?" <laughs> I screamed so loud, and I and I know he was drinking my water too because there was like hair in it and stuff. Ew. <laughs> so he was he was eating my noodles and drinking my water. Okay, so and your noodles were spicy, right? Yes. So. Okay. <laughs> he probably was like. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is spicy, and then he got water. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself, Boston. And the fact that he was like on the couch, all comfortable eating it too, like it was his. Like I made it for him. Like <laughs> that made me so mad. Yeah. I, I was actually contemplating on eating it because I Ew. just made them. That's disgusting. I didn't have time to make more, and I was very hungry. Whew. <laughs> so that's the story of the yeah. noodles. He ate. He, he ate my noodles. So sad. Very sad. I'm, I haven't made no sense. That's how upset I've been. <laughs> Traumatized. So this is where the incident took place. <laughs> And remember you guys, I don't allow him on my furniture anymore. So this is where Savannah had her noodles. And I guess I had texted her. So when she came in here, when it was quiet, Boston was standing right there eating her noodles. And she had a cup of water in there. So he was like, he had a whole meal to himself. Just having fun. So the pizza is done you guys and the good thing about this is you can cook it in this container that it comes in. But just make sure that... The lid that's on it, there's this paper that wraps around. You have to take that off because one time we put it on there and we didn't know it was stuck to the bottom and that paper actually caught on fire. Yeah, not very good. So yeah, that's dinner tonight for everyone. Good morning everyone. It is Thursday. It is freezing. Oh, it's 42 degrees. Feels like winter is finally coming. I guess I should have brought a jacket. I usually only wear, I've only been wearing my lab coat because it has not been cold. It's been cool in the mornings, but not really cold like it is now. I guess I should have brought my coat. I'm not going back in. Anyway, what was I saying? Today's Thursday. It feels like it should be Friday. I wish it was Friday. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. I'm trying to let my car warm up taking my hair down this weekend you guys you guys know that <laughs> I always complain about something about my hair but this is the first time that I didn't like it from the beginning it's horrible and I'm not going back to her I told you guys a story but I wanted to get my money's worth and every time I look at it I just want to just rip it out of my head but taking it out this weekend I would have did it I guess I still can do it tomorrow night yeah maybe I'll do it tomorrow night when I get home from work um, cause Saturday we are going to Apple Hill uh, and I was going to just do it after that, but no, I'll be tired after that. So I guess I will just do it when I say do it, um, tomorrow when I come home from work. So yeah, I'm taking this down y'all. I need to go get some coffee. It's so cold. Y'all want to know a secret about McDonald's that Savannah, um, told me? So... You guys know how there's two drive through lines, and I guess you could do this on the inside as well. So when you go in and, or when you go to the drive through and you ask for 
chicken nuggets or anything that comes with the sauce they automatically charge you for the sauce they didn't used to do that but now they do so the secret is if you're at the drive-thru window oh, tell them no sauce so once you go to the drive-thru pay for your food when you get to the second window or if you're inside once you actually get your food tell them oh I want sauce packets like um, they don't charge for ketchup but they'll charge for barbecue sauce or honey mustard or if breakfast burritos the picante sauce whatever that didn't used to be they used to give you that sauce free and then if you wanted more they would pay, charge you extra but no they started charging completely so that yeah that's the secret that's the trick and she said it's not really a secret because a lot of people do that so when you get your chicken nuggets whatever sauce you want don't ask for it right away ask for it when you're getting your food because you're going to be charged for it and they, i think she said they charge like 30 something cents for each packet something like that I'm like them little sneaky boogers okay I better get going it's 7 14 it doesn't take that long to get to work but sometimes there's traffic along the way and depending on which way i go sometimes i don't know just different things so all right let's go to work i'm going to starbucks this morning I don't go to Starbucks in the morning because I just don't but um so a co-worker bought me a coffee yesterday and I didn't expect her to and she's like no you don't have to pay me back so I am just going to pick her up a coffee today and surprise her so there you go that's what I'm doing and we all know Starbucks can get pretty crazy and chaotic in the mornings I don't know if you guys heard that but my gas light came on and so I definitely need gas. Y'all know I hate pumping gas, right? I told you guys this. I wish gas could magically appear in my car. I don't know why. Just stopping to get gas is so annoying to me. And I would say it's a waste of time, but it's not a waste. Okay, so I got Starbucks. She doesn't know I'm bringing it, but I just got her the same thing that she got herself yesterday, which is a caramel grande frappuccino. And yeah. It's cold. The line wasn't too bad in there. I mean, I had to wait a little bit, but by the time I left, there so many people in line, so I'm glad I went when I did. So, yeah. And now I'm on my way to work. I'm gonna be early. That's why I wish I would've left 15 minutes later or so, but you never know with traffic in Starbucks, so. And plus, I never go to Starbucks in the morning. So we're at home, Savannah and I. We're watching Netflix. We're actually watching I think it's a knight in shining armor with Vanessa Hudgens. Let's see. 